And here's 17 Crime Watch. It's been more than two decades since two sisters were brutally murdered in their apartment in East Bakersfield. 17's Rob Hagan spoke with family members who haven't given up hope that justice will be served. He joins us in studio with more. Rob. Tammy, it's been 21 gut-wrenching years for the family left behind since the horrific double murder of 18-year-old Emily Gauze and her sister 20-year-old Carissa Gauze, September 2022. But there's still hope, because after more than 20 years, there's still DNA. It's been 21 years since sisters 18-year-old Emily Gauze and 20-year-old Carissa Gauze were brutally murdered in their first apartment together on Quincy Street in Bakersfield. It was September 26, 2002. The girls have been dead longer than they were alive. They'll never be forgotten. They were deeply loved by a lot of people. They had a purpose, a God-given purpose, and they were taken violently way too early. The investigation revealed Carissa was beaten and shot in the head with a shotgun. Emily was beaten with an object, likely a hammer. Both of the girls were dragged into the bedroom, stacked on top of one another and set on fire with a solvent. Emily was still alive. She died later at the hospital. Investigators say Emily was at the wrong place at the wrong time. There is someone out there that, you know, got away with something, and there's people that know who that person is, guaranteed. Former live-in boyfriend Richard Arvizu was arrested. After being held for more than a year, Arvizu was released, and the district attorney dropped the charges because there was no DNA match. That was 2004. No one has been arrested for the murders since. I think the family is just would really be able to heal a little more if the person who committed this heinous crime could be brought to justice. But in the end, we need to keep their memory alive. And I want everybody to know that, you know, they were wonderful girls, sweet, loving girls. Cousin Michelle DeRuin is now serving as the girl's voice since their dad, Paul, died. She says the DA's office mentioned testing DNA evidence on clothing and the bottle cap of the solvent. DeRuin says that was two years ago. It's time. It's time to come forward and stop permissing evil. In the meantime, Emily and Carissa's family has not and will not stop in finding justice for the two sisters taken too soon. The family has a Facebook page in their honor called Remembering Carissa and Emily Goss. Now I reached out to Richard Arvizu, the former boyfriend of Carissa Goss at the time. He declined to comment because he said he doesn't know me or trust me and what he has to say is irrelevant. Meantime, if you know anything about this cold case, you are urged to call the Secret Witness Program where you can remain anonymous. 322-4040. In studio, Rob Hagan, 17 News.